Hi, hello, annyeong. Hi, hello, annyeong. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray. If you don't know who I am, that's okay. It doesn't hurt. Oh, you're so sweet for coming to watch my video. Good job. Today we're talking about moisturizers. It's gonna be a long one, I think. I don't know how long this video would last. Grab some popcorn or something healthy to eat. I don't know, up to you. 10 moisturizers that are perfect for oily skin. The struggle is real, am I right? Who still says that? I don't know. Me's the one who says that. Moisturizers, so many of them, right? So important for your skin. In fact, it is possibly the most important step of your skincare routine, minus the fact that you do need to cleanse and also put on SPF. You get what I'm saying. Of course, I said how important toners are, but if you actually forget about toners and jump right into a moisturizer after cleansing, it is totally fine. Like, I'm not gonna get mad, don't worry. But moisturizing is key to locking in your routine. The longer you are hydrated throughout the day and night, the fewer wrinkles and fine lines you're gonna have. Like I said, there are so many moisturizers in the Korean skincare world to choose from. Where do you even start? Every brand and product will tell you that they can moisturize your skin effectively, best product out there, that they can lock in the moisture for you for the longest time, but you really have to try for yourself in order to understand if it works for your skin, if your skin can benefit from it. And you have to try them out for at least a month to really see how effective they are. And that's why I'm here, your oppa, your hyung. Maybe I could be your tongseng, I don't know. But that's why I'm here to test them out for you and then tell you whether or not they works for my oily skin. So if you're a dry skin type, I'm sorry this video might not be for you uh, because I feel like all these products are not as, it wouldn't be as hydrating I should say, for normal to dry skin. They are hydrating and moisturizing enough for oily skin without making us feel oily and greasy like a grease ball. If you guys are looking for moisturizers that are beneficial to dry skin types, I would highly recommend watching Got The Mises channel because she is a dry skin type and she has like the best skincare knowledge on YouTube period. Do oily skin people even need moisturizers? I've always been an oily skin type my whole life for as long as I can remember. I remember when I was in high school and I must have been the most oily person in the room. A grease ball. I used to joke about how I can actually use my facial oils and my natural oils because it's so greasy and sebaceous to cook with. You ran out of like canola oil, you ran out of uh, uh, olive oil, <laughs> use my face oil. I know, gross. I hated my oily skin, but that was because I didn't know how to take care of it. I thought that having oily skin was just something that I had to put up with my whole life, joke about it, to cover up the fact that I hated how my skin looked and appeared, which is shiny, greasy, and oily. And of course, in high school, you will always compare yourself to your peers and your friends and stuff. So when I see that all my friends, especially the guys, when they have like matte skin and they didn't have like a drop of oil on them, I'm like, wait, is something wrong with me? Because why is my skin so much greasier than theirs? Um, like we both sweat the same amount because we're both in high school and we have phys ed and everything. But like I always come out of gym looking like I just came out of the pool. Whereas my friend, forgot his name already from high school, <laughs> but he would come out of the gym with like, well, he would have sweat, but then he wouldn't have like this kind of like T-zone area where it's like super greasy. And like this area is the most greasy I get. And also, well, yeah, the T-zone, the nose, and then this area. So it's almost like an eye, right? For me, it's an eye. And I remember just being so hard on myself because I was like, I hate looking like this and I don't think it will ever change. And that's because I didn't know about skincare and no one really told me about skincare. And also back in like 20, what is it, 2009, skincare for men is always so taboo and like, oh, you're too feminine. You're like, you're not supposed to do that, bro. If I had done skincare when I should have done, which was like at the end of high school, at the beginning of college, I wouldn't be at the stage of my life where I'm just like, trying to find the best moisturizer to make sure that I don't age as quickly as, what ages quickly? Like a like a cut open apple. Does that make sense? Like, you know, when you open an apple and you just leave it out and it turns, it oxidizes, it turns, you, you, you guys get the idea, okay. But then a friend in college told me that perhaps my skin is extra greasy because I, I'm overly dehydrated. When your skin is deprived of hydration, your skin barrier and the deepest layers of your skin go into beast mode to produce oils to compensate for the lack of moisture and hydration in your skin. And that gets reflected on the skin surface because then all the glands are pushing out these oils and your skin surface is now 
reflecting all the work that's been done underneath their skin layer. So that's why you look shiny and that's why we have all these sebum and these blackheads and whiteheads and our pores appear to be bigger. And of course with the overproduction of oil comes sebum and acne because when pores and glands get clogged, that's how we develop acne and sebum throughout time, if not removed from our skin, becomes acne as well because it's gunk. And then once our acne scars fade, it becomes hyperpigmentation and becomes scars and dark spots on our skin that we don't necessarily like. With that being said, yes, oily skin people do need moisturizers as well. But it is very important that we strategically choose what moisturizers we want to incorporate in our skincare routine because we don't want to add more grease to our skin. We want to stay away from the super oily products. We want to find products that can leave hopefully a matte finish, if not, not as greasy finish. And of course, skincare is very subjective. No one person can copy and paste their routine and give it to their friend and say like, this would work for you. You really have to understand your skin's needs. Like, are you an oily skin person, but dehydrated most of the time like myself? Or are you a highly sensitive skin person, but with dry skin type, meaning that your skin is always cracking and your skin is always inflamed and red once you touch it because it doesn't have the moisture it needs to, to rebuild the collagen in your skin level. Skin level? No, skin layer. With that being said, here are my 10 moisture moisturizers that I think are most suitable for oily skin types. Actually, it should be 11 because I do have an honorable mention and that's only because it's a product that I've only recently started using and that's the Celamax Noni Energy Repair Cream. And that is, oh, so good. I don't have um, the Celamax Repair Cream with me right now because I left it at my parents' place during Lunar New Year, but that's an honorable mention. And I don't put it in this list because I'm still testing it out. I'm still trying to see like if there's any things I don't like about it. So far, knock on wood, there's nothing bad about the product. I love it so much, but I do want to be fair with all the other products I'm mentioning because all these other products I've actually tested for at least a month. The Celamax one, I've used it for about like two weeks straight and then I stopped and then I tested other products out and then I haven't picked it up again. And I feel like in order to be a fair fight, that one would probably be mentioned in another video in the future. I also have a full review of the entire Noni Energy skincare set on this channel and I'm going to leave it in the description box below as well. Let's start with today's first product that we're going to talk about and that is the Purito Centella and Scented Recovery Cream. Honestly, easily a grail right now. I use this almost every day. It's almost done. It's like, oh, where are we now? We're down here. We're down in the middle already. We're down to the middle. I need more. I like this moisturizer because it is effective in reducing sebum and controlling oil, which Purito doesn't actually mention here enough. It actually helps regulate sebum level. I'm actually wearing it right now. I actually have it on on my skin right now. And I feel like I always have to use this moisturizer whenever I film because it actually helps contain all the excessive oil that I'm about to produce, especially in front of like a ring light and stress and like anxiety when filming and like trying to get the right things done. And like, I always sweat when I film and this one really helps control everything underneath my skin layer. It is made with 50% Centella Asiatica extract, ceramides and squalane. These ingredients help combat sensitivity, redness, and any inflammations while protecting and rebuilding the skin barrier. The downside of this product is that you really have to work it into your skin, pat it in really tightly, nicely, because it does leave a white cast and it would remain a white cast if you don't pat it into your skin. And so whenever I use this product, it would take me a little bit longer with my routine because I'm like, oh, I look like a Pillsbury Doughboy. I also talked about this product in my six minute wintertime skincare routine video. So if you guys wanna check it out, the link is in the down bar below. So I do realize that my room looks tilted all the time and that's because this wall is not parallel to that wall. So that wall is at an angle and this wall is perpendicular to the exterior wall. But anyways, <laughs> battery died. Resuming, okay. Next up we have the Cosrx Full Fit Propolis Light Cream. So I actually already ran out of this moisturizer and forgot to restock and I don't have the container with me. But the first time I ever tried this was from the Glow Kit by Cosrx, of course. And I made a video about it featuring it. So you can find it in my channel somewhere. And I finished it and I don't know where I put it. It's a little tiny tube, so it's 
somewhere in here. This propolis cream runs thick, but when it's applied to your skin, it melts and becomes this thin layer, almost like a warm hug. What's great about this moisturizer is that it doesn't leave your face feeling greasy or shiny. There's also no fragrance in this product, so you can actually use it without worrying about essential oils. Propolis has a distinct scent to it. It's very close to honey, but it's not honey. I don't know if that makes sense. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Moving on, moving on. Next up, we have the Cosrx Oil-Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion. This is the first time I've seen lotion being used correctly as a word because a lot of times in K-Beauty, K-Skincare, Japanese skincare, lotion is usually meant to be a toner or like a toner essence or a toner serum or like a bunch of different things at once. But this lotion is actually a lotion. At first I really didn't like this moisturizer because it has this weird Pepsi slash Coca-Cola smell to it. I found it strange. It smells like, like Coca-Cola, like soda. It's like, why, how is this possible? Anyways, but this moisturizer saved me during the summer when all my moisturizers were making me appear more greasy due to sweat and oils being mixed together. This moisturizer sits on your skin with a matte finish. Matte, I'm telling you, matte. I also love this product because it's not irritating and it actually goes really well with all other active ingredients like AHAs, BHAs, LHAs, PHAs, the aha, baha, laha, pahas. The texture is gooey, but not thick at all. And the best part is it comes in a pump bottle, so. I don't have to dig my fingers into a tub. I can just pump this wherever I go. Next up, we have the a pew. Pew, 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 pew. I'm actually sad to report that this moisturizer is out of stock in most major authorized sellers of K-Beauty and K-Skincare. It is sad because I really, really, really love this. I'm also running out of this, so I'm trying to save every last bit of it as much as possible, which is why in my demonstration, clips. Uh, I try not to use too much of it. <laughs> what I like most about this moisturizer is that there are two versions, the moisture cream and the fresh cream. The moisture cream is for normal to dry skin, which is the one I have. I don't have normal dry skin, I have oily skin, but this one works perfectly. The fresh cream is the one that's really meant for oily skin. But here's the thing, because neither of them leave your face greasy or oily at the end after you apply it, I feel like Oily skin people can also use the moisture cream as well. I love using this in the winter time because it does lock in my moisture really well. They call this the 18 moisture cream or the 18 fresh cream because they use 18 different vegetables and fruit extracts to create this cream. All these veggies and fruits that they chose to put in this moisturizer are packed with antioxidants to fight free radicals and to prevent wrinkles. The next moisturizer I want to talk about is the Dear Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream and I'm not going to talk much about it at all in this video because I have a 41 minute long video about how great this entire fundamental line is. You can check that out in my Moonbase skincare playlist or you can find it on my channel anywhere or I'm gonna put the link in the down bar below so you guys can check it out as well. Next we have the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. I almost got that name wrong, but I got it right. Let's move on. <laughs> Notice how Centella Asiatica is a very common ingredient among all my favorite moisturizers right now. That's because Centella does wonders for our skin, especially for oily skin types. This moisturizer is actually pure gel form, not creamy at all. Case Skincare uses the term cream, just like the UK, to indicate that the product is a moisturizer. But a lot of people hype this product up specifically, it's because it's affordable and effective. And as an oily skin person, I do prefer gel textures over cream sometimes, only because I know that it's not gonna leave my skin looking greasy. This holy grail is made up of 70% Centella Asiatica extract and 10% tea tree leaf water. These ingredients, once again, helps reduce blemishes and alleviate acne prone skin. Next up we have the Secret Key Hyaluron Aqua Soft Cream. So many words in one title. Gotta love K skincare sometimes. <laughs> Similar to the Ionique gel cream. This aqua soft cream is also a great gel moisturizer for oily skin. Secret Key on Instagram actually recommends using this moisturizer as a sleeping mask, but I found it to be very useful as a full on moisturizer, at least for oily skin. There is fragrance in this product, so approach with caution. And I think out of all the moisturizers I have, this one has a strongest scent. I don't mind it though. I think the scent reminds me of summertime, so I actually really like it. Not too intrusive at all. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Because of its gel-like consistency, it absorbs quickly into the skin layers without leaving a greasy finish. It's also super affordable. You can get this at YesL for $10 
for the 150 milliliter bottle or the tube. Is this the most powerful moisturizer on the list? No. However, it is one of the best moisturizers I think for skincare start. So like a younger demographic would really appreciate this moisturizer. I wish I had discovered this moisturizer when I was in high school. Maybe I wouldn't have been looking like a grease ball down the halls of Holy shit, a whole ass like icicle thing came crashing down outside my window. Anyways, New York City, <laughs> love being a New Yorker sometimes, you can die in the streets like that. I wish I had discovered this when I was younger because I wouldn't have looked like a grease ball walking down the streets and walking down the halls of my high school. Anyways, we're moving past that traumatic experience. The key ingredients are sodium hyaluronate. It draws in moisture from the air and surrounding to put it into your skin while preventing any water from leaving your skin. It also contains niacinamide. Yes, niacinamide. It's crazy how a super affordable product like this would contain niacinamide, which a lot of moisturizers from the higher end products don't even do anymore. But of course, niacinamide is a super ingredient that does a million things at once. It tackles wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, pore size control, etc. Next we have the Tony Moly Ceramide Mochi Water Cream. So if the Secret Key Moisturizer is one of the most affordable products in this list, I think the Tony Moly Wonder Mochi Ceramide Mochi with it? Tony Moly Wonder Ceramide Mochi Water Cream is the most worth the money moisturizer in the market right now and also in this list. I got this for $8 at Style Korean, link in the down bar below if you guys wanna pick one up yourself when it was on sale. And this product comes in a whopping 300 milliliters. Do you know how much 300 milliliters can go for me? It can last me at least a year and it was only $8. I already said how much I love the mochi line from Tony Moly in my toner video. And if I love the toner from the mochi line, then I don't even know how to describe how much I love this water cream. There is a slight fragrance in this water cream. Not gonna lie. I don't mind the fragrance here because it's just lemon peel, what is it? Lemon peel oil and rosewood oil, as opposed to like the billion different essential oils that a lot of products out there put into their moisturizers. So this one isn't too bad at all. The fragrance is bearable because I do like a good lemon scent. I think I like the refreshing scent uh, as opposed to like the flowery, flowery, flowery ones. I can't even speak today. It is packed with Ceramide MP5000 PPVs, just like the toner. And what that means is it really helps lock in the hydration in your skin. Ceramide is basically the building blocks of your skin barrier. It also contains Centella Asiatica, once again, super calming for your skin. The cream is actually really light and milky. I like to scoop up a fingertip of it and warm it up between my palms and then apply it to my face. This moisturizer, however, is thicker than the others and leaves a shiny finish. So I would recommend this only for nighttime use because unless you want to look a little bit dewy during the daytime, I mean, go for it. But personally, I don't like looking dewy or greasy at all when I'm out in the streets. I like to be snatched, matte, ugh, powerful, yeah! You know, so I don't like using this in the daytime, but it's super hydrating for the nighttime. Like, I love putting this on and going to bed, and then the next morning, I'm just like a grease ball, but then I know my skin was super nourished and hydrated throughout the night. Finally, the last two products are my favorite skincare, or I should say, Korean skincare brand, Kyung Kang Yol. I love their brand philosophy because they stick to simple ingredients and they're highly inspired by traditional Korean medicine. Currently, I don't have either of these two moisturizers with me because I left them at my parents' place along with my dear Claire's when I was over there for a Lunar New Year celebration and I forgot to bring it back with me and I always forget to bring things back and I always like travel with them and I'm like, what's the point? Because I always leave it at my parents' place. The first moisturizer we have, and I'm gonna put the image on the screen right now, is the Pyeongkang Yol Acne Cream. They call this a cream, but it's actually a gel. Once again, perfect for oily skin! This acne gel contains willow bark extract, which is a natural derivative of BHA, to fight acne and go deep into the pores to eliminate any excessive sebum and oil buildup. It contains Centella Asiatica as well for calming your skin, it contains green tea leaf water extract, which is a great antioxidant for your skin as well, and licorice root extract to help with fading hyperpigmentation and evening out skin tone, especially after having acne scars or right after your acne pops or like your pimple pops, I should say, and your skin is starting to get a little bit of redness. Licorice root extract is great for 
kind of evening his skin tone out and uh, fading away those dark spots after your acne scars. Because of its gel-like consistency, it's not going to leave a greasy finish on your face. This moisturizer keeps your skin tightly sealed like a coating of moisture. Mm. And last but not least, we have the Pyongkong Yul Moisture Cream and I'm going to put the image here. Okay, we are talking about the holy grail of moisturizer for oily skin type people, okay? If you are gonna save up money to buy a borderline luxurious moisturizer, I would say this one is the one. And like I said, this isn't exactly the most affordable moisturizer on this list. However, it is really worth the money. I have a personal attachment to this moisturizer because it is, or I should say it was my first moisturizer that I spent my own money on. Thanks to Gothamisa's recommendation and Gothamisa or Renee actually did a whole video on the Pyongkang Yol signature and like the main line, which is a, the navy blue, this uh, kind of line. Anyways, this moisturizer is actually better for my skin. I was in need of a strong moisturizer that doesn't leave my skin looking like a greasy frying pan. And there are two lines to this moisturizer, specifically in this specific Pyongkang Yol line. It is the Intensive Repair Cream, which is for dry skin, and Moisture Cream, the one I'm using for oily skin. Both contain similar ingredients except the repair cream is thicker and really packs in ultimate hydration that ends up leaving a shiny glow on your skin. Personally, I want to look matte all the time, which is why I find the moisture cream to be best for my skin. Remember when I said I love Pyongkang Yol because of their brand philosophy? Well, this moisturizer is exactly that, keeping the ingredients list to a minimum. It contains japonica root extract, which fights wrinkles and free radicals and acts as a great antimicrobial agent. It also contains jojoba seed oil, which deeply penetrates to soothe the skin. It's also an excellent moisturizing agent to create a healthy glow. It also prevents trans epidermal water loss, aka tool. It doesn't evaporate as quickly as water-based ingredients and it also contains high dosage of vitamins B and E. Finally, it contains shea butter, and we already know the extensive list of benefits that shea butter can do for our skin. It's a super hydrator and skin barrier sealant. Personally, I think this product is best for anyone who tends to get shiny or greasy at the T-zone area, like myself, and for people who have enlarged pores, like me. I prefer using the Pyongkang Yul Moisture Cream at night only because I want to let the ingredients actually do its job while I'm resting because I feel like when you're active during the day, the skincare products you put on your skin isn't actually doing a lot because your skin and your body is still functioning. It's still moving around. It's still using a lot of energy to hydrate yourself, to uh, regulate your stress level, um, regulate your breathing and everything. So um, I feel like your skin isn't actually uh, paying attention to the skincare products that's on your skin. It's not really uh, having a communication with the products. However, when you're sleeping and your body is actually resting, meaning your liver is doing its job in regulating your body and your kidneys are processing all the water levels in your body and your skin is finally allowed to breathe, that's when your skin is finally letting in all the goodness of all these products. Well, that is it for this video. All the moisturizers that I've loved using since the beginning of my skincare journey. Once again, moisturizers are so, so important to your skincare routine. You must lock in that moisture in order to keep your skin hydrated throughout the day and night. I hope this video helps you understand which moisturizers could benefit your skin. I will leave the links to all the products mentioned in this video in the description box below for you guys to check out if you guys are planning to purchase any of them, either through YesStyle or Style Korean. Uh, some of the links, not all, I think some of the links are affiliated, so I do make a small commission out of it. So if you guys would like to help my channel out a little bit, you guys want to shop for skincare products, definitely use my links so I can keep this channel running. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys love this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the skincare family. Until next time, peace! 안녕히 Bye bye! Come back to me, Juseo, next time.